Hi everyone, my name's Dan. I'm here to show you how to set up the Alton Goods Ultralight ground bug net and bathtub ground sheet. So I've just arrived at camp and selected a good position to set up my sleeping arrangements for the night. A few things that I considered was a nice flat place to lay the ground sheet down, a good gap between the trees, no more than about six meters or so, and check above head just to make sure that there's no deadfall or dead branches. First things first, I'm gonna set up the ultralight ground bug net. Generally, I like to start with this uh, because it sets out the position for the rest of the shelter. So firstly, I like to just place the ground net out in between the two trees as best as you can. And then just grab these two lines from the top of the net and just tie a simple shoelace knot around the tree. Uh, I like using this knot. It's, it's strong enough to hold the top of the bug net and it's nice and easy to release when you're packing up camp. So that's looking nice and center between the two trees still. So I'll just tie the second knot. I'll sort of set this up just a little bit above waist height, maybe belly button height. So the next step is connecting the bathtub ground sheet. So this is just a simple button system. So that took about 30 seconds to button up. Um, when setting this bug net up, sometimes it's a bit hard to find four trees that perfectly align. So to spread the actual bug net, I've gone into the bush and found a few sticks. So you simply place them between the two lines, to spread the bug net like so. So this stick here that I've got is a little too long. So I'm just gonna snap it off so it's suitable for the bug net. So this setup here with the sticks works perfectly when you're just using two trees. Already I can tell that I've already hung this a little bit high. So before I peg the ground sheet in, I'm just gonna lower these lines. Uh, once you've done that, you'll wanna peg it out. So when positioning the pegs, I like to line up the bottom of the bathtub ground sheet with the top of the bug net, like so. So just feed the pegs through the loops and push into the ground. I won't push those pegs in all the way to start with, just because the positioning may change as we place more of the pegs out. So the next step is getting uh, the bungee cord on the bug net, sliding it through the loops and fixing it over the peg. This helps tension the bug net to make sure that it's nice and tight and helps it withstand windy conditions. So the final step is checking the tension on these lines, just to make sure that everything's nice and tight and sits square. A little tip, you have adjustment up or down, but you can also slide the rope back and forth to make sure that it's sitting nice and square. So there you have it, a nice, easy, insect-free shelter to set up. And if there's rain forecast, just like there is tonight, make sure you grab the Alton Goods three meter by three meter tarp to chuck over the top. Time to grab the sleeping bag and she's good to go.